Hearsay is an out-of-court statement offered to prove the truth of the matter asserted. Such a statement is not admissible at trial unless an exemption or an exception applies. In Jordan v. Bins, we explore Federal Rule of Evidence 801-D2A, which creates a hearsay exemption for statements of a party opponent. Jordan Bins was driving his tractor-trailer in the center lane of Interstate 70 in Indianapolis when he heard a banging noise. Bins looked at his passenger side mirror, saw a motorcycle sliding down the right lane, and pulled over to the shoulder. As he ran toward the motorcycle, Bins found its owner, Betty Jordan, lying on the pavement, seriously injured. According to Bins, Betty repeatedly admitted that the accident was her fault. Betty's husband, Ted Jordan, arrived at the scene shortly after the accident. Ted told Bins, along with a police officer and an insurance adjuster, that Betty said the accident was her fault and not Bins's. Because of the injuries sustained in the accident, both of Betty's legs were amputated at the knees. The Jordans sued Bins, alleging negligence and loss of consortium. At trial, Bins sought to use as evidence Ted's statement to Bins, the police officer, and the insurance adjuster that Betty admitted the accident was her fault. The Jordans objected, arguing that Ted's statement was hearsay. Specifically, the Jordans argued that Ted's statement wasn't his own because he was merely repeating Betty's statement. The trial court overruled the objection, and the jury returned a verdict for Bins. The Jordans appealed to the Seventh Circuit.